Hey everyone, it's Rob from Ready to Roll, and I'm here with a quick video showing you my newest order from Reaper Miniatures. So, I haven't done one of these in a while, but it is October, and Reaper Miniatures has not one, but two promotions going on. Uh, number one, they have their Dungeon Dwellers promotion, very similar to the uh, 25th anniversary promotion they're doing last year, where they had a uh, mini every month where if you ordered $40 or more, you got it included. Same thing with Dungeon Dwellers. And second, they're back again with their kind of ghoulie bag. Same thing, $40 or more, they throw in a ghoulie bag. Has some paints, has some candy, has a mini in it. So we're going to dive in, see what I got, both that I ordered and that I got for free. So without further ado, right on top is the ghoulie bag. So let's see in here. In the ghoulie bag, we have some Starbursts, uh, peppermint, that looks like a Laffy Taffy. Uh, we also have some paint, which is nice. We have uh, fresh blood and spectral white, keeping in uh, line with the uh, spooky theme. And then we also have, let's open this up and see what mini we got, because the other side isn't clear. Um, and it is, of course, none other than a Ghoulie Bag promo mini, Death Shroud exclusive smoky gray variant. So uh, I have a picture of that you can actually see. But it is um, the uh, Death Shroud, but in a kind of translucent gray, which I think is really cool. Probably very minimal painting that needs to go on this, or you can even use it as is. Um, so yeah, that's Ghoulie Bag, pretty good. Next up, we have one of the first minis I bought, the Dwarven Brewer. I'm um, trying to expand my Townsfolk collection, so this is a great way, more people in the bar, uh, guy behind the bar making some beer, he's a dwarf, so bonus points for that. Uh, second, same thing, Dwarf and Butcher. It's a dwarf with a cleaver and he's holding a pig, so that is pretty great mini right there. Um, then I got some torture equipment, torture equipment one and two. Uh, let's see, we have a rack, we have a stretcher, I don't know what that thing is, uh, Iron Maiden, a bunch of stuff in here that was really cool. So just to put in the dungeon, uh, whether it's you know beneath the castle or a dungeon itself. Then we have a halfling cook, because you gotta diversify your tavern staff. Ooh, and then we have um, a Adrastia Winterthorn Vampire. Um, I believe this is the one, um, well, Adrastia Winterthorn, who is a vampire. Uh, this is October's free one, so female vampire, one, all one metal piece, comes with a nice round slotted base. Looks really nice, actually, so I'm going to look forward to painting her. And then we have another uh, Dungeon Dweller, so I believe this one was the exclusive... Um, from Reapercon that just went on, so it wasn't a monthly one, but you got it if you went to Reapercon. And this is Gerald Rock Lead Barrels. He's a brewmaster, so another dwarf uh, with uh, he has a cask and some uh, you know mugs of ale. Really great looking mini. Um, really looking forward to him. This guy painted alongside the Bones variants. And then last but not least, we also have Orc of the Ragged Wound Tribe, another dungeon dweller. Uh, I didn't order from obviously this month either, but I really wanted to get this guy because he looks dope. Gonna definitely be including him in my painting queue very soon. Um, and that's it. I do think I am missing one thing. Unfortunately, it is a free thing though. Um, I think the ghoulie bag is supposed to have um, a kind of like a special pink breast cancer awareness one. And I don't see it in here. Now, I do have like three of those already, so it's not the worst thing in the world. But, you know, I'm sure if I contact them, they'll send it to me. Um, so, it's not that big of a deal if I'm entirely honest. Or maybe they ran out. That's also entirely possible. Terms and conditions apply. Uh, so, this has been a real quick video update. Uh, there will be a 40k doubles video coming up at the end of the month or beginning of November. Where, again, myself and Craig go back to a doubles tournament hoping to do better than we have previously, which... I think our best record is one and two, so we're gonna try and uh, gonna try and do better on that. He's upset because orcs aren't gonna be out in time. The orc codex. Meanwhile, I'm gonna be bringing my dark elder once again uh, to kind of raise a little bit of hell, going full cabal, uh, lots of raiders and uh, splinter fire, so lots of cable lights. So that's about it for this video. I have been Rob from Raider Roll. You guys have been great, and I'll catch you guys next time.